All right. This is our Wednesday session for the Yaren Fit Movement for Mental Health. You will need a chair for this session. Make sure you got your drink bottles nearby and also a notepad. We'll most likely have the notepad all sessions just because we're going to record uh, a certain movement in each session just to keep you accountable with your strength. And also uh, there'll be some conditioning components as well along the way. All right, so <clears throat> probably should have mentioned this on Monday, but ideally, if you've got a yoga mat or something that's a little bit soft, that's gonna help with the, uh, the ground stuff, okay? And like I would I've mentioned, I will mention this every time, if you feel dizzy, if you feel like you can't do the movement at all, just, just sit out, that's fine. There's no dramas with that. And obviously, if you if you're feeling unwell, um, just stop completely and and uh, call the appropriate people um, if it's an emergency type of thing. All right. Now, our session today, we're just going to do a warm up. We're going to do some a little bit of core inner core stuff. Uh, just after we do our testing, um, we're going to do some lower body strength and finish on some some solid conditioning at the end. I am going to give out a breathing tip today, uh, an anxiety breathing tip that I have done so many, many times with this particular technique. So, you know, there's some pretty tough times for people at the moment. So anxiety might be heightened. So you might be able to get something out of this tool. All right, here we go. We're going to start off without the chair. We don't need the chair at all. The first warm up and all we're going to do, if everybody's ready, stand up for us. And we're just going to do some running. We're just going to do 30 seconds of running. Okay. Move your arms, move your legs. Just getting the body moving, getting it ready. Ten more seconds. All right, straight after this, we're going to go into some skipping. So pretend you've got a skipping rope, okay? You can do running skipping, you can do shuffle skipping, or you can just double leg skipping. It's up to you. Nice work. Halfway. Straight after this, we're going to do some star jumps. So five. Okay, hard jumps. Let's work. Just a little shuffle, nothing crazy. Straight after the star jumps, we're gonna do some shadow boxing. Okay. Ten more seconds. Warm the body up, warm the joints up. Getting ready. All right, three, two, one. We just punch it out. You can go unders, you can go hooks. It's up to you. Just get that, get the twist happening. Okay. Just throw those big haymakers if you want. Get some twists happening. Throw some short ones. It's up to you. Have a little run if you want. Yes, Ryan. Look at that punching bar. Hey. <laughs> Nice work, nice work. Keep it going. Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. All right. Knees up, elbows to knees. Let's go. Get it up. Nice work, crew. Well done. Five seconds. We're just going to finish our last one of sec section. One toe touches. Okay. So just get your feet nice and wide. Just touch down. Keep going. Oh, 
I'm done. Keep it going, keep it going. Five, four. All right. Sweet. Okay. Now, for the testing, we're going to do our testing straight off the bat while we're nice and warm. Now, with our testing, there's always going to be variations, okay? So you can do a, a squat, trying to get as low as you can, okay? Hands on head the whole time. If that's too hard, on your chair and just squat, okay? And if that's too hard, squat, it's supported. There's three variations there. Make sure whichever variation you do, write in your notepad, in your notepad, okay? And how many reps you get out within the minute. So if everybody's ready, we'll go in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. One minute of squats. Get as many as you can get out. Keep your hands on your head the whole time. Get as low as you can. 10 seconds down. Well done. Good stuff. Keep it going, keep it going. Just on halfway now. Getting as low as you can, locking your legs out up at top. 20 seconds to go. This is not only going to test your strength, it'll test your muscle endurance as well. Make sure you're keeping that chest up. All right, last five seconds coming up. Four, three, two, one, and stop. All right, I'll give you a couple of seconds to write out your totals. Or if you've got a really good memory, you don't need to write it out. You might need the chair for this next section. So move your chairs out of the way. We will be on the ground mostly. All right, well done guys, good work. Our first exercise for our um, core work is just gonna be done. This is, this is suited for all levels. It's an activation of your inner core. What you're doing is you're just staying on all fours and you're bringing your belly button to the roof. You're not overextending your back. All you're doing is just bringing your belly button. For, you're keeping this all flat. It's called a four point tummy tuck. And we're just gonna do five second holds. Okay, so let's just start on that. All right, let's go in three, two, one. Belly button to roof. And relax, that's one. Go again, now, up. That's two, relax. We're gonna to get to eight. Three, two, one, go. Okay, relax. Just trying to keep that back nice and flat. It's all about getting your belly button to the roof. For a guy, it's pretty rude, but it needs to be mentioned. It's like pulling your balls into the stomach. And for a girl, it's like you're trying to stop a wee. Okay, three, two, one, go. And relax. Three, two, one, go. And relax. Three more. Three, two, one, go. Really squeeze it up and relax. Two more. Three, two, one, go. And relax. Three, two, one, go. And relax. All right. After that, we're going to be on our backs. Okay. So lie on your backs. And what you're going to do, you're going to have your hands in the air and your feet 90 degrees. Okay. Now, the, the hardest level is opposite arm, opposite leg, trying to go back as far as you can and your legs straight out. An easier version of that is just going to where you can go. If your lower back starts to come off the ground, don't go any further. Okay. You've gone as far as your range will let you, as far as your core strength will let you. But if you can get all the way down your arm and your leg, and then back up, and then opposite. Okay, so what we're gonna do, 
This is going to be timed. We're going to go for about 30 seconds. So I want everybody to have a go. Ready? Three, two, one. Like I said, just go to the range where your lower back will let you go. If you start to feel like your lower back's coming off the ground, don't go any further. That's really concentrating on keeping that lower back in the ground, your opposite arm and your opposite leg reaching out. It's called a dead bug. Not the best name. You'll start to feel it in your core. That's good. If you're doing it properly, keeping your back, your lower back into the ground as much as possible. Beautiful. Keep it going. 10 seconds. And relax. Okay, we're just gonna finish off with a little burner and lie back down, ankle touch. Let's go. We're gonna do 30 seconds of ankle touches. Let's go. Finish it off. Touch your ankles, touch your ankles. Should be burning. If you've done everything right, you should be burning. Let's go. Almost there. Push, push, three, two, one. Okay, that's one round. We're gonna do three. Go back over to all fours. I'm gonna get, let you go at your own pace this time, but just remember five seconds in, if you're a girl stopping away, if you're a guy pulling your balls in the stomach and then relax. Okay, same thing. We're gonna do 30 seconds of it. Ready, set, go. Five seconds in, try and keep your back nice and flat. All you're worrying about is bringing your belly button to the roof and then relaxing out for a couple of seconds. Come back in. Just trying to keep a natural breathing cycle happening. All these movements, especially the first two, are uh, an exercise that's going to strengthen your lower back, okay? If you've got really good core, inner core, you're going to protect that lower back, okay? Five, four, three, two, one. On your back, dead bug. Let's go in three, two, one. Let's go. Just like you go to your range, even if it's just to there, that's fine. Go to your range. Keeping that lower back into the ground. That's key. Almost there. Keep it going. Straight after this, we're gonna do our ankle touches with minimal rest. Three, two, one. Let's go, ankle touches. Keeping those shoulders off the ground. Let's go. Ankle touch, ankle touch, ankle touch. Almost there. Push us off, only one more round after this. Let's go. Push, push, almost there. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, feel the burn. That's good, one more round. Like I was saying, really beneficial for your lower back and a lot of other things, but most, mostly your inner core will protect your body and your lower back from getting injured and make you feel stronger too. All right, here we go. Four point tummy tuck, 30 seconds worth. At your pace, three, two, one. Last one on this, let's go. Five second hold. Natural breathing, halfway. Three, two, one, on your back, dead bug. Three, two, one, let's go. Roll back into the ground. Go to your level. 
if your lower back is coming off the ground or if you feel like you can't hold the tension on, don't go any further in the movement. Almost there. Straight after this, we're doing our ankle touches. Three, two, one. All right, let's go. Finish it off. Finish it off. Ankle touches. Push yourself. Get the rest after this. Let's go. Let's go. Push. Push. 10, nine. Three, two, one. Well done. Grab a drink. Grab a drink. If you need one, nice work. Whoa, firing up that core, really good. Okay, we're gonna do some lower body strength. We will need our chair for this next one. So we're gonna do split squats. Now your split squats can be done. I'm always gonna show you the hardest level first, okay? This is the hardest level. So you're gonna go foot out, foot up, getting your knee all the way to the ground, okay? That's the hardest level. A little bit easier than that, ditch the chair, do your split squats just like so, okay? And if you're really struggling with that, still do your split squats, okay? So just have the bench or the, the chair beside you to help you get up. I don't care if you just go that far down. That's still burning your legs. You're still gonna be gaining, gaining strength. Okay, find your level. You will need the chair if you're doing advanced or the beginner's level. We're gonna go 20 seconds on the one leg, 20 seconds on the other. And then what we're gonna do for our last, so for our, our third section, so we do each leg, a third section. If you can hold this far down on the bottom squat, that's your pulse, okay? If you can only hold, go down this far, that's your pulse. Okay, so you're just going down to that bottom limb, bottom level of the squat and you're just pulsing. Um, I don't care if it's just there. If you need to grab a chair and hold on and squat, that's fine too. Okay, that's gonna be our last 30 seconds. So 30 seconds of split squats, 20, sorry, 20, 20, and then a 20. Okay, get ready. Find your level, five, four, three, two, one. Put on the chair if you want to go advanced level. Push yourself. Getting that back leg as low as you can, keeping your chest up. Nice work, everybody. We're swapping up in three, two, one. Little rest, shake it off. Other side, 20 seconds. Three, two, one, go. That's it, keep your chest up. Three, two, one. Straight into our squat pulses. Find your level, let's go. 20 seconds. Push, go. Keep your chest up, keep your chest up. Almost there, should be burning, should be burning real bad. Three. Two, one, Whew. shake that off. Well done. Now, if you remember which leg you started on first for your split squats, that's great. Um, if you didn't remember, that's fine. Just start, because what you got to do, if you started on this leg, you'll start on this leg next time, okay? Just to even it out. So just take note, if you didn't remember last time, take note of which leg you use now, okay? So we're doing four rounds in total. Four rounds, one down. Plenty of rest. Get your lactic acid back into your legs. We're gonna try and go from the first leg to the second leg without any rest. 
and then from the second leg into the squats without any rest, okay? So it's just gonna be one minute of work and then we'll have 30, good 30 seconds. We're gonna have plenty of rest, okay? Because it, it is a big lactic burner. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, let's go. Push it out, keep your chest up. Almost there, five more seconds before we swap. We're doing a quick swap. Okay, let's swap it up, swap it up. Let's go, swap it. Halfway, 10 seconds. Going as low as you can. Keeping your chest up. Three, two, one. Straight into it. Pulse it out. Keeping that chest up. Let's go. Almost there. 10 seconds. Pulse it out, pulse it out, pulse it out. Almost there. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh. All right, 30 seconds rest. Well done, everybody. Very good. If you want to have a grab a trick, quick drink, that's fine. We're halfway through. Well done. Whew. All right, 10 seconds. Here we go. Three, two, one. Back to the start. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Push yourself. Here we go. Five. And swap. Go. Ten seconds. Three, two, one, doubles. Let's go, doubles. Come on, push yourself, get through, stay as low as you can, keep your chest up, okay? Let's go, push it, push, almost there. Five seconds, go. All right, holy, that got me. Whew. 15 seconds before we go again. Last one. Last one on the legs. Sorry, but not sorry if you have sore legs over the next couple of days. <laughs> Three, two, one. Let's go. Come on. Last set. Last set. Last one. Get as low as you can. All right. Really put it in this last one. Like I said, you can use support for your splits. Three, two, one, swap it up. Let's go. Get as low as you can. Ten seconds. Push. Three, two, one. Last one on the squat. Go. Punch it out. We're almost there. 15 seconds to go. Let's go. Pulse as fast as you can. Let's go. Almost there. Five, chest up. Four, three, two, one. Well done. Whew. Wow. That's awesome, guys. Really good. Great effort. Okay, grab a good drink if you want. A bit of conditioning next, so you might need the fluids. It's been really good effort so far. Okay, while you're having a drink, I'll show you what we have. We've got a one, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven station circuit. Okay, seven stations. What we're gonna do so everybody gets to know the variations and where they're at, we're just gonna practice every single movement. And then we're gonna go into our circuit and then that's what we're done after that, okay? So first one, calf raises. Now, if you wanna do the advanced level, you do single leg calf raises, okay? So you can bring your knee up, single leg, okay? And if you have your chair just beside you, just to balance, double leg, okay? Hands up or hands on the bench, double leg, okay? Or you can fully support yourself and just do your car raises like that. There's your variations. All right, so let's practice that. Let's go, find your range. Find, we'll go for about 20 seconds. Find where you're at. We're doing 30 second efforts. So 20 seconds should give you a good indication. Let's go. 20 seconds started, find your range. Which if it's gonna be single leg, if you can do it without holding on to anything, it's gonna be um, a lot better for your stability. We're doing alternating, alternating calves, okay? You can hold on, like I said, the calf raise. Okay, next one, an RDL. I'll show you the advanced level. RDL, touch down, keep popping legs. Touch down, okay? Easier version. Okay, that's an easier version. Easiest version. Hands on head, and touch down. You can do a good morning instead. Okay, so find your range. 20 seconds starting from three, two, one. Let's go. So it's that, or that, or that. They're called RDLs. Okay, that's fine. You should have found your range there. All right, now next one, lateral lunge, advance. Lateral lunge. Now I'm really getting my, my bum out and going to the ground. That's the advanced level, okay? A little bit easier, stand nice and wide and just go to the side, okay? Go to the side, like that. Easier, hold on to something to the side. Go to the side. As long as you're trying to put your weight, shift it onto the one leg, that's where the benefits are. Ready? Three, two, one, let's go. Try that. That's it. Well done, or oh, like this. Beautiful. Okay, next one. This one's really straightforward, okay? It says bicycles and the variations are just not going out as fast. So it's just bicycles like this, okay? And if you just want, if you just want to hold your legs in the air, it's going to be hard enough, all right? Let's go, bicycles, three, two, one, go. Cycles, cycles on the ground, find your range, find your range, how far you can go out. All right, three, two, one. Okay, everybody, I'm pretty sure you can see me from there. That's fine, I can't really see everybody else, but that's all good. Our plank overs, okay? So you start on a plank, you start here, you go all the way over, touch the ground, all the way over, touch the ground. That's your plank overs. Now, easier version, just arms up, arms up. Easier version than that, plank. Easier version than that, plank on your knees. There we, there we go, four different things. Let's go, let's go, try yours, try yours. Let's go. Plank all the way over. We'll just show you this again. All the way over. Back to a plank. All the way over. Back to a plank. If not, just bring in your arms up. If not, plank. If not, plank on your knees. Well done. Okay. Rightio, stop it there. Here we go. Prisoner. Now prisoners are prisoners get up. So you go down with the right leg, down with the left leg, up with the right leg, up the left leg. Jump, 180 jump. Down with the opposite leg. Okay, so you need to swap. So I just went down my left. Jump, okay. Easy version. Just do the gown, just go down, okay. So down with the right, up with the right, down with the left, up with the left. Easier version than that. Put your hands on the ground. Just get yourself down like that and then up 
and then same thing down up try yours let's go let's go we're almost there almost there for practice so it's a prisoner get up it's a big 180 jump you don't need to do the jump okay well done keep it going okay stop it there all right our last one our final station it's just high knees up as high as you can using your arms let's go let's everybody do it if you want to just keep them low that's fine there are your two variations high knees finish strong okay all right we got it we got it 30 second intervals there's no rest in between each exercise, okay? There's no rest. All right, stop it there. All right, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna start from the top, okay? We'll see how we go for time and how many rounds we get through. Let's just get through this first round. 30 second intervals, non-stop. Here we go, five, four, we're starting on carbs. Three, two, one. Let's go, carbs, carbs. Carb raise, you can do double raise. Okay, you can do double or you can hold on. It's up to you. Let's go. Calf raise. Calf raise. Keep it going. Keep it going. Keep it going. Go, let's go, let's go. Calf raise, we're almost there. Five seconds. Straight into a good morning or an RDL. Let's go. Straight into it. We can do it on here. You do it on here, or you can go like this. Good work, good work, good work. Keep it going. Push, push 10 seconds. Keep it going. Straight after this, we're doing lateral lunges. Okay, keep it going. Three, two, one. Let's go. Bang, bang. Or you can just keep your feet together like that. Okay, let's go. Push yourself. Or you can hold on to this and just go from side to side, whatever level you are, okay? Find your level. 10 seconds, keep it going, keep it going. Almost there. Three, two, one. On your backs, on your backs, cycles. Let's go, straight into it. So if you just want to just go like this, or all the way out, trying to get that elbow to knee, let's go. Or you just want to hold, that's fine too. Okay, find your range, 15 seconds. Let's go, push, push yourself. Straight after this, we've got plank overs. Plank overs after this. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go, plank overs. Plank overs. Or this one, or just a plank, or just a plank on your knees. Let's go, move, well done. Well done, everybody, well done. Let's go, push, almost there. 10 seconds, 10 seconds, push yourself, push it. Okay, stand up, let's go, prisoners. So hands on your head, hands on your head, get down and jump. So down to the left, up to the left, jump. Down to the right, up to the right, jump. Or you can just go down, okay? As your prisoner, get up. Or you can put your hands down. Or you can even grab, actually you can even grab your chair for this one. That's a good option. Chair, up to the right, down to the left, up to the left. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep going, three, two, one. Let's go, get them up. Get your knees up, go high, high knees, high knees, finish strong, finish strong. Let's go, get them high, use your arms, use your arms. Let's go, push, 15 down, 15 to go. Push, push, high knees, get them high, get them high, get them high, get them high. Three, two, one, have a rest. Well done, well done. I reckon we've got two rounds left in us. Two rounds, and then we'll do some breathing. Okay? Two more rounds, guys. He's doing awesome. Plenty of rest. Plenty of rest. Grab a quick drink if you want. Just a quick one.
You all good, Kenya? <laughs> all right. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Calf raises. Calf raises. Hold on if you have to. Double leg if you have to. Let's go. Get those calves going. Get it up. Nice. Probably another muscle that's going to be really sore tomorrow from doing these, but that's what it's all about. 10. Three, two, one. Let's go straight into it. Hold on to this. Up to you. Let's go. Try and get that back leg nice and high. Wow. Let's go. 15. 15 to go. All right, three, two, one, lateral lunge, lateral lunge. Let's go, getting as low as you can, lateral lunge. Nice work, getting all that weight shifted onto that one leg, getting your bum out, keeping your chest up. That's it. You can keep your hands in your head like Ryan, but you can put them in front of you as well. If you can make it harder, you put your hands in your head. Okay, almost there, 10 seconds, 10 seconds. Let's go. Push, let's go, two, one, on the ground, cycles, let's go, cycles, push it, let's go, get that leg nice and straight out there as far as you can, get that elbow to your knee if you can, let's go, push yourself, 15 seconds, 15 seconds, second time, second last time you have to do this exercise, push, five, Four, three, two, one, plank overs. Let's go. Touch the ground on the other side. Or just lift your arm up. Or just plank. It's up to you. Push. Let's go. Push. Ah, yes. Nice. Good work, crew. Gonna come and have a quick look. Nice. Nice work. Keep it going. Keep it going. Keep it going. Well done. 10 seconds. 10 seconds. Two, one, radio, prisoners, let's go. Lift the jump, if you got it in you. If not, just do the prisoners. Keep swapping legs, don't stick to the one leg. Almost there, we're getting a good rest after this one. Then we go into our last round. So push yourself. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go, high knees. High knees, finish strong, finish strong. Let's go, push it up, get them high. Use your arms to get them high. Finish strong, let's go. Getting a rest after this, speed. Get some speed in it. Let's go, speed. Come on, let's go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one and one to go. Good stuff. Last round. Last round. Plenty of rest. Go have a drink if you want. Whew. Good stuff. All right. Leave nothing in the tank. Put everything in. I won't see us again till Friday. All right, 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, three, two, one. Let's go. Come on. Get those car braces. Oh, up. Get them right up onto that car. Nice. Double if you have to. So double. We're against you. Fifteen to go. Nice work, everybody. Okay, RDLs in three, two, one. Last round, last round, let's go. Last round. 
Hold on, let's go. Last round, here we go. Five, two, one, lateral lunges. Come on, put it in, put it in, last round. Let's go, as fast as you can, as low as we can. Chest up, fast as we can, low as we can. Last round. We're taking it easy after this round. Okay, we're doing some breathing and stretching. So put it in. Go, push yourself, push yourself all the way through. Five, four, three, two, one. On the ground. Let's go. Cycles, cycles. Punch them out. Get as many as you can. You only got 30 seconds work. Push, get your leg nice and straight out. Elbows to knees. Let's go, push yourself, 15 seconds, push. Let's go, five, four, three, two, one. On your front, on your front, get it over, get it over or just get it up. Let's go, push, push yourself, push. Go. 15 down, 15 to go. Almost there. Two exercises to go after this. Let's go, guys. Get it all the way through. Three, two, one. Prisoners, let's go. Hands on head. Up. Almost there. Make sure you're swapping legs. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Come on, finish strong. Finish strong, guys. Get those knees high. Last effort for today. Last hard effort. 20, 20 seconds. Come on, high knees, as fast as you can. Go, use your arms, use your arms. Push it through. Push it through. 10, nine, five, two, one. Well done. Good stuff, good stuff. Good stuff, good stuff. All right, so what we're gonna do now, we're gonna to start to calm our nervous system down from what just happened, okay? The quicker that you can calm your nervous system down, the better you're gonna recover. So when you come to Friday, you're good to go. So it's about trying to control your breath, trying to bring good thoughts in, okay? Don't try and keep a good smile on your face. Don't. Don't look like you're in pain or don't feel like you're in pain. Just calm your nervous system down, okay? So while we're doing that, we're gonna have a little stretch and then we'll do some breathing. So I want everybody to stand up for us. And all I want you to do is basically just fold down and just let your arms hang. Breathe, nice and controlled. And then relax. Very good, just relax those shoulders. Think about how good that session was. Uh, you put all that effort in and how the rest of your day is just gonna be nice and, and positive now after getting that hard work done. All right, everybody wants you to go down to the ground and on one knee and just bring your arms up and just reach back and just stretch it out. Just breathe. Stretch all through the front of your hip. Okay, put your head in the air, look up. That's it. Three, two, one, up. 
other side. Well done. Keep it going. All right, just keep one leg out in front. And what we're gonna do is gonna put your net, um, elbow, You're trying to get your elbow to the ground. If you can get it to the ground, great. Big breaths. All right, twist over the body. Twist over. Okay, other side. Other side, elbow down. Elbow down first. Okay, twist over, last stretch. Last stretch. Okay, all right. Quickly, I want to show you guys just a very easy practice for anxiety, okay? So what I want you to do, everybody put their hand on their stomach, hand on your chest. The first two thirds of your breath, even when you're walking around, anything you do, it should be, two thirds should be in your stomach when you go in, and then the last third in your chest. So it looks like this, ready? And then relax it out. So I want everybody to just practice that. Your hand should come out for the first two thirds of your breath in. Let's just practice that, okay? It's not easy. We're so used to breathing into our chest and that's no good for nobody because we need to get our oxygen down into our diaphragm, which is right into our stomach. Okay, let's keep practicing that. Ideally, always your, your breath should come in your nose and then you can either breathe out of your mouth or out of your nose. But ideally, when you're breathing in, always through your nose, okay? Just a couple more seconds with that. Okay, while you're practicing that, I just want you to listen to me for a second. This next, um, like, uh, what is it called? Exercise, I call it exercise. It's, it's great for anxiety. Um, it's something that I use personally but also have you know, given it to a lot of people and it has helped in the past, okay? So what you need to do is you breathe in for four seconds and using the same philosophy, you hold for six seconds. And when you're breathing out, you put the, root, the tongue at the roof of your mouth and you make a noise like this. You might look like an idiot, but it works. And I don't care that you look like an idiot because it's going to help you if you're anxiety. <laughs> okay, so let's practice it. All right, so everybody ready? We're gonna go in for four. I'm gonna count it through. In, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, five, six, out. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So your out is eight seconds. So you're going just ever so, ever so lightly so you can get that full eight seconds out. And then we're gonna go straight back into the four seconds in. Okay, let's just try and get through five. Are you ready? Three, two, one. In, two, three, four. Hold, two, three, four, five, six. Out, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. In, two, three, four. Hold, two, three, four, five, six. Out, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One more guided, in, two, three, four. Hold, two, three, four, five, six. Out, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Do two more at your own pace.
One more. All right. Well done, everybody. Um, not sure whether you'll get anything out of that breathing, but hopefully it does. And that is a wrap, Caitlin, I think.